Hey Orange One here, so I'm actually doing kind of the rare thing of actually starting right where we ended the last episode. Um, they literally only had one defender defending the whole city just there. I don't know if you guys saw that. Um, but <laughs> they're gonna need a few more people than that. Uh, yeah, so basically we've we've essentially crushed this empire. Uh, the Vlandians we're still at war with apparently. Um, but they're like all the way on the other side of the map. I do have a number of uh, thieves that are over there. But I i mean, I'm not super hopeful about us getting there in time to make much of a difference. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is just like kind of like trade a little bit and like make my way over towards the Vlandians. Um, but I definitely want to make sure that Dynastica is is set before we do that um you know what do i really need all these lords following me and i have so much influence i can get them to come back to me if i really need to i'm gonna tell them all that they can go do their own thing um i mean honestly mission accomplished we we took the city you know like i'm pretty happy with that uh, there is one other thing that I need to do, and that is get our companion parties set up in other cities so they can um, hopefully get up and running and get us our, our army. So if I go to, I think it's L for clan, right? Parties. Um, oh, actually, Lossos already has a party going. Komar, I don't know where you're at. You're at Koya's. I have no idea where that even is. Um, but if you are willing to join me, I'll take you. Oh, sweet. You are. Cool. All right. So we have um, we've kind of done well. This place is probably not going to be a great place to buy anything. If anything, it's a good place to sell food at right now. I might want to do that. Let's just let's sell a few things. I, I know it won't give me any experience for selling the stuff here, but trust me, I'm making a pretty penny off this stuff. I mean, like I said, it, it doesn't really matter. I'm actually only really doing the trade for the trade experience. Um, oh, look, the salt's actually very reasonably priced. I will take that. I will take the salt. I'll take all of it. Cool. And I'm basically going to go to, like, villages and, like, daisy chain my way over. Oh, actually, no, the Vlandians aren't even at war with us. Uh, let's go to... Let's kind of just kind of daisy chain our way through those sorry lands. We'll see what quests we can pick up on the way. And this should give us a lot of recruits because we're in what is um, our kingdom. And these are actually, like, a sorry unit. So I've got a good feeling that we should get a good amount of recruits here. Oh, look at that. Oh, and Asari Youth. That's like the special units. You, my friend, I should be very good friends with. Uh, the grain is... All right, it's not cheap. If I could go take that grain, I could probably go make a good profit just going straight back to Dynastica. Let's actually go do that. Let's see what food we can get here and go back to Dynastica. They're probably very hungry still. Um, oh, the salt. Did I bring the salt? I think we're not going to make much profit off of that, but I think we bought this for like 27. Yeah, so that is something. Oh, look, that was enough to give us the experience point. Uh, that's good, because I thought, actually, I wasn't getting very much experience. I'm going to buy the grain here. It is getting a little little pricey, though. Same with these grapes. Oh, the fish is not a good price, though. I just am going to go back, because I know that they have such a food shortage here. I'm pretty sure that if we can get um, our good... Uh, oh, look at that. Wow, we get so much money per day. We get like 5k a day. I have so many fiefs now. Like, seriously. It's insane. Oh, look, Lossus. Thank you for joining us. And there's Surik. Uh, if I go to trade, I'm just curious about... 
yeah, the price on grain is still very high. So I'm able to turn a pretty penny um, in terms of the profit. I think that's pretty good. Uh, how about those grapes? Yep, that's pretty good too. I could have actually done the same thing with the fish. Nothing like a little siege to, uh, you know, encourage the markets. I might just, you know, see if we can do that again. And this place sells grain, right? So if we can just keep on running back and forth, selling these people grain. Uh, mm, maybe not. That's very expensive, that grain. Um, let's see about... I know that the fish is selling for a good price over there. Now we're gonna we're gonna start making our way um in our, our loop through the Sari land. That I think is our best um course of action right now. In terms of getting recruits, getting hopefully some high tier units as well. Uh what are you wanting us to do? Train troops? Sure. I'll take your troops. This one we might actually be able to complete. I don't know. I really need to get a companion that's good enough at training to be able to do that quest for me. Because I would actually make that a really a nice, easy quest. Uh, so this place produces clay. Yeah, I mean, that actually... Wait, it sells for 52 at Dynastica? I don't think that's right. Whatever. Um, and that price for the grain actually wasn't too bad. We're just going to buy goods and keep on moving, though. We're not going to turn around. I think that we've kind of uh, made the market a little bloated in that regard. I am going to take these desert horses. Maybe I shouldn't be taking so many horses. Um, I think you can trade those and make a good amount of money off of them. I just need to find a place that will buy them at a good price. But the animals, I think, I don't know if the horses, but the animals, they used to not display the color correctly. Yeah, basically this is what's going to happen this episode. If you're wondering, like, what my plan is, is just doing this. Until we inevitably get thrown into a war, like we always do. Uh, you want your daughter found? Oh, this is that one quest that's actually good for leveling our charm. I'm going to do it. I'm totally going to do it. Yep, don't worry. I'll be able to find her and see what's going on. Kuka. So, you know what's interesting is it actually marks nearby villages on your map. So I know that, okay, I need to go to Doka and Mossum and see what's going on. Okay, so Jinda. Okay, so we want to go and talk to Jinda. We'll see if we can charm our way. Uh, where are they? I don't see them on the map here. Oh, did it say that they went to the other village? I think it. it I may have misread it. Can I just read the quest again? Uh, this one right here. Yeah, they they were off towards Quab Lab. Yeah. Again, I apologize for that brutal mispronunciation. Uh, where is the lab? Wait, oh, it's all the way up there. Really? Okay. Well, I want to kind of go to Raza anyways. Let's see about buying some dates and and fish. Yeah, they actually went. Oh, it gives me the same message there. Okay. Uh, the dates, I will buy all of that. The grain, nah. I think we'll probably sell our grain here that we picked up at the other place. I don't know. And now I'm realizing that I didn't recruit troops at that previous village. It's fine, right? Um, I can sell the clay for quite a tidy profit there. That's pretty good. Other things, not so much. It's not saying that's a good, good price for it. What could I buy here? 
fish is decently priced. I mean, yeah, I think we'll go for the... We'll get some fish. And tell you what, I'll, I'll buy some of the dates too, because that's a pretty good price for dates. And same with the salt. I'm going to buy all the salt though. And hopefully we can sell that stuff for a pretty penny somewhere around here. Let's just upgrade these troops again. God, there's like so many little micromagents like this, like in the mid to late game. I know that mods and game developers will get it all figured out and it'll be a lot more smooth, but right now there's so many little clicks like that. Um, yeah, here they are. I like how they are away from the village like that. It's kind of cool. A little touch there. I do have my companion here. I don't know if you ever actually have to fight this guy or not. Um, I mean, I hope not. And they're just lovebirds. Whoa, that was kind of weird. Uh, no, I'm not going to let you go. I'm going to convince you uh, to sort of do the right thing. Oh, man, this is a tricky one. I mean, that one pretty much guarantees that it's going to work out, right? Yeah. Gotta be safe, right? Gotta be safe. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. It didn't work. Uh, oh, I got another shot. Yeah, there was very little chance that that was actually going to work. Wait, you give me all four shots? Really? Okay, well... <laughs> Accept your duel. Oh, really? Rosia, you're not going to actually let me duel him? You're going to just... Okay, whatever. You killed him. Oh, well... Oh, then we actually force her to come with me? Oh, what? Okay, well... <laughs> That's interesting. So if I go to J... Yeah, so I have to actually walk her back. So if they go back by themselves on their own accord, you don't have to do this. I've done this quest before, um, and it, it's done at that point. I could have just moved on. But because, you know, I like stubbed my toe and swore or something at them. Uh, I had to kill him. That's that's kind of interesting. I kind of like that, how it's like, you either know how to talk or you know how to kill. <laughs> yes, here she is. Um, I don't really care about the renown. It's more... Whoa. I mean, that kind of makes sense that, he, you know, I just found his daughter, so he would, you know, like, hey, homeboy. Here. I have a footman. I feel like that's like now like a footman is like a candy bar. Here, homeboy, have a footman. <laughs> right. You see what I mean? Um, and I think we actually want to just go past Razia. Let's go back to Collab because I don't think I actually traded there. We just kind of checked it out a little bit. And then I think that our companion that's been wandering around, they might have a party that's big enough now to join me. Yeah, it looks like they do. Okay, cool. Let's go with um, right here. Yep. Sounds good to me. And we'll keep on keeping on. We'll see. Uh, oh, look, there's that castle I took. I like that. I like that about this game, how there's that stuff going on. Wait, after battle? What's, what's, what battle are you guys fighting? Oh, at war with the Southern Empire? There's only 300 of them left. I'm pretty sure that they don't even have any villages or settlements or anything left. So, yeah. There's more hideouts. There's more bandit hideouts in what was their kingdom than um, actual troops. Yeah. Tells you a little something. Oh, I forgot to try selling those horses. I just remembered that we bought, like, some fancy horses and then forgot to try and sell them. Whoops. Um, can I sell any products to these guys at a good price? I can, actually. Um... 
we'll do something like that. I don't know. I, I think that we'll get a better price in the towns, and I'm not sure how... Tra I heard someone say that when you trade with those places, it doesn't level up your trade experience. I think that's wrong, but I don't want to... I don't want to risk it. I got a good feeling. Yeah, these people will pay good money for this stuff. And we're actually getting better prices now. Um, I don't know if you've noticed this, but we've been getting um, much better prices because our trade skill is higher. Sure. Oh man, we're getting there. We're getting a little bit closer. I mean, I know it seems like it's going slow, but let me show you why I'm doing this. Look, our trade skill, when we get to the next thing, we can start like just generating an insane amount of renown. If we have profitable shops and and whatnot, oh man, we're going to be golden. Uh, speaking of which, I think we might be able to buy another workshop. I mean, there's like very little to no point in me doing this, but... Um, I must leave now. Yep. Let's see what businesses are there around here. We got the Hubyar Brewery already, don't we? That sounds like something that I have. I'm pretty sure. Let's go to Olive Press or the Linen Weaver Weavery. We'll do the Olive Press. That seems like a good thing to have in this uh, this series, you know. Like, people that brew beer and, um... Wait, what? Oh, you're a gang leader? I thought this was an olive press. You just, like, allow gangs to hang out in here? Uh, sure. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Um, and then hopefully Javier doesn't hate me ever, because I think I'm gonna just, because we're here, just get a linen weavery as well. And then we're going to be seriously rich. Oh, that's the blacksmith right there. I could have talked to just the blacksmith. Yeah, it looks like the gang leaders, for some reason, tend to get set up in these businesses. Uh, no, you've actually reached. Okay, cool. See you guys. I'm out of here then. We'll maybe look and see if there's any quest there is. Rival gang... I just don't want to hang out around here, to be honest, though. I, like, I don't want to come back and deal with that. Um, it looks like we already sold stuff here, right? Yeah. Let's see what we can buy, then. Oh, actually, the horses. No, now the horses show up as, as good things to sell. Let's get rid of that, then. Oh, um... We're going to be emptying them out money-wise. Uh, let's see. Oh, look, they have all of a sudden all that money back. That That's kind of weird. That seems like a glitch. That's a total glitch. They got all their money back. Um, I am also just kind of curious about these, uh, these weapons that they got here. Um, I mean, this is a really good sword. The Highland Broadblade is a very nice sword, but I'm just kind of curious about, like, the top of the top. And it's kind of weird. It's not showing the ca comparison there to our current weapon. Um, this is objectively... Well, it actually has a lot more damage. It's a lot slower, though. I mean, it's... You know, it's apples and oranges, I honestly think. But it seems to me that it's saying that this is a much better weapon. It is a two-handed sword, though. But I think that's why it's not being compared. Yeah, it's classified as two-handed, but you can go one-handed. But there's no shield. That's... Okay, no, that's two-handed. That one-handed label right there. Oh, wait, hold on, no. It does allow you to go one-handed. And then it... Oh, and it displays the stat. Oh, what? I had no idea. That's pretty crazy. So it has... It's a little bit... Slower, but more damage here. Much less on the thrust. I don't know if I want that. That doesn't seem like it's actually better. Um, 
It's the noble longbow versus the noble bow. I really like how this thing handles. This is like a really nice, nice bow. Um, and I'm looking at these. These all are like valued at the same value. There's 90. So yeah, our current bow fires the fastest. So it has the least amount of drop, essentially. That's perfect. I'm I'm loving that bow. It it fires really nice. Um the helmets and whatnot are very lackluster here though. Sure. Okay, let's let's keep on going on our merry way. Collecting our, our recruits. Uh oh, you've got the same daughter quest. You know, this gives you a chance at getting a lot of um, charm experience. So I'm going to try doing this again. Uh, let's see. Okay, it wants me to go here, it looks like. And then it'll tell me where to go next. I, I wonder if it tells me there. My money's on there. Uh... Ma hold. Okay, so it's all the way over there. Let's get moving over there and then we'll, like we've been doing, level up our troops. Man, we're gonna have such an experienced group here. Like, this army is, is a very powerful army. I mean, we have like, uh, like two thirds of the troops ourselves right now. I should have gone to Javier to get recruits, but I I don't know. It looks like someone else just grabbed the, the recruits, so it's probably empty now. Uh, search the village. It's going to be people like standing all by themselves. Yep, here we go. Hopefully Rosia doesn't end up murdering another lover. Hello, kid. You probably don't want to go down here, so just a heads up. It's very likely with my percent chances of being successful here that uh that some dude's gonna have to die. Um no I'm gonna try and convince you. Oh we could we could start with this. Uh no, okay it's pretty much guaranteed at this point that we're not gonna get it. And we'll get the one and then yeah. We basically are gonna have to kill this guy. I accept your duel. Oh. Yep, Rosia killed another dude. You are just you are just crushing people's hearts over here. I wonder if you get more renown for killing the dude than letting him live. I just had like a weird thought. <laughs> now I'm questioning myself. Oh man, that's so messed up. Like, I wonder if the father is like, Oh, thank God for killing that guy. <laughs> As opposed to, Oh, thank you for convincing him to return her to me. Yeah, you know, like, what if he's got like a little residual hatred for the dude? Right? Man, we can have nearly a hundred prisoners. That seems a little excessive to me, given our party size. Um, here, I just was curious. Yeah, all literally every single person that you could recruit, like every man of fighting age, is off fighting now. Uh, yep, I got your daughter. That guy looks very Roman to me. Yep. It's all about that relation, man. These guys are gonna be like my homie, my homies for life. Uh, he's not got great units, but he's got some units. And look, I'm actually getting to the point where we've almost capped out the number of units that we can carry. And these guys have tons of empty spots, so I can just easily start um, dumping units in their their pool. Uh, let's see. I think the olives. Yeah, the olives here are not a great price, but. We could go sell them somewhere else that does have a good price. Just keep on keep on carrying on though. 
I should go to Iacus as well. Tell you what, we'll get some fish here and then we'll go to Iacus. That seems like a good a good move, right? It's always it's kinda interesting seeing that. Like you kinda know, like if I'm going inland in the desert, like they're not gonna have any fish there, right? <laughs> Um, that's insane how this place only has three people to recruit and Javier had like eight or something. Like seriously, I think it was up there in those numbers. Oh wow, look at those olives. Those olives sell for a pretty, pretty nice price. Same with the dates. Oh man, we can just unload all of the dates. Cool. And now we're just ten away, man. We're chipping away at it. You know, I think, though, that what is kind of bothering me is that the caravan piece still doesn't work. If that did work, we would be, like, up here, like, right now. Um, let's see. We were gonna buy fish, right? I think that was pretty much... Yeah, it's actually... Huh. It costs a fair... It's, it's like, pretty expensive here. Okay, well, well, we'll get all of the fish. And I don't know what else sells at Ayakas for a good price, so we're just gonna go. We'll see what we get. That's actually... We'll, we'll stop at, at Hut, Hunab, because I suspect there might be a quest there. I've got a feeling that there's a quest. No, never mind. Not even any recruits for me. I really like the re recruit mechanic in this game. I think that it works really nicely having like a limited supply of uh, people in the in the world to uh, fight battles. Okay, the fish is not even. What well, that is legit upsetting. <laughs> we'll we'll just sell a couple of those then, just to get a little bit of something. And let's see, I think. Yeah, I don't know. I think... Oh man, flax. We should have picked up flax. Yeah. that's That sells for a lot there. Okay. Um, I'll just do the last finishing touches on this. Just because I know that I'm going to forget if I don't do it now. And then we'll keep on going on our merry way. Uh, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.